One billion. That is the total number of views as of right now on the Jack Sucks at Life YouTube channel. I am so happy. I cannot believe this. A year ago, I had this custom award made to celebrate one billion views across all of my YouTube channels. So now that we've got to a billion on just Jack Sucks at Life, I think we need to design another award. And I want to thank Adobe for helping out with that by sponsoring this video. The Jack Sucks at Life channel was launched in 2013, originally called Jack Sucks at Minecraft. Just like every YouTuber, but my first video was absolutely terrible. Hello, my name is Jack, and welcome to my very first Minecraft video. Jack's Fab Episode 1, now uploaded over 10 years ago, is a 26-minute Minecraft Let's Play that is so unbelievably boring. We'll just skip to a lull, you know, 17 minutes in. Let's see what I'm up to. Stew. So just find some iron. <laughs> just making mushroom soup. Yeah, thrilling, Jack. Thrilling. Surprisingly, the video was not an instant success. But I kept at it. I uploaded more videos and more videos and more and more. Each one giving me more practice and more confidence. About three months later of nearly daily Minecraft content, I reached 1,000 subscribers. And I showed my face for the very first time. Hello, my name is Jack and I've just hit 1,000 subscribers. So I decided to say thank you, I do a little sub video. Cute! What a little cutie! You can see my computer behind me, next to it, got a little Cyberman. The same Cyberman is still next to my computer to this day. This little fella has seen it all. He used to talk when you clicked this button. He still makes an electronic noise, but it's not words. Like he's trying, he's definitely trying. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> About a year later, I reached 100,000 subscribers and I got my very first YouTube award. At that point, I had no idea just how important YouTube awards would be in my future. And that brings us to right now, a billion views later. Obviously, I had this made and it looks nice. The point was that each colored bar was meant to represent a different one of my channels. But when you look at it from a distance, it doesn't really stand out that much. So using the Adobe Express web app, I'm gonna mess with their text to image tool because you could do unreal stuff with this. So this absolute delight is the example that Adobe gives. Basically, they typed a seahorse in a colourful coral garden. Intricate detail. And then AI just magically created this right in front of them. And there's a few different options, all of which just look incredible. So if I was to get rid of this and I was to type something like a golden award in the shape of a one and then click generate, out of nowhere, I now have four different options at a 1 billion views award. And I think this is the one that I like the best. Like, if I had this in real life, that would look epic. Let me just download that. I'm not finished. I'd like to explore my design options at this stage, and that is why I'm gonna go a little bit crazy. Do you remember when this was my profile picture on YouTube? for about five months. Well, what if we could commemorate one billion views with a toilet gang themed award? A golden award shaped like a toilet. Oh, and if I select photo instead of art, it'll be more hyper-realistic. Generate, here we go. <laughs> okay, is that a toilet? Kind of looks more like a bidet. <laughs> and we've got a little space for a plaque that we can add some specific text in Photoshop. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so it's the actual toilet seat just in an award format. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we could add the toilet roll eyes with Photoshop and make this even better. Or I wonder if I can generate that with toilet rolls for eyes. Surely it's not going to understand this. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's kind of worked, to be fair. That is a face we've got there. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I quite like the idea of this one, because I could keep the golden toilet, and then I could give the two toilet rolls to Becky and Kai, my editors. <laughs> but no, I think we'll stick with the original concept, which is the golden one for one billion. I've gone ahead and generated a few more. I like all of these. They're delightful. I mean, even just that, that would look fantastic just right on my little black unit there. But let's go particularly fancy. I think this is the one I'm going to download. And then I'm going to use Photoshop just to make it a bit more specific. So there we go. We can get rid of the background. <laughs> so if I add some text, we can make this a bit more official. Maybe Times New Roman. Go fancy with it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. As simple as that. Right, I've got this image from another thumbnail. So let's just see what I look like holding the award. <laughs> just squeeze it under my hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, that award looks pretty good on me, actually. I am so proud of 1 billion views, by the way. Like, thank you so much to anyone that has watched my videos over the last decade. There are 1,800 videos just on this channel, and when you start scrolling down from oldest to newest, you realize just how many that is. And it's so weird that I've been going so long now that I don't even remember so many of these videos. But look, we can really, really scroll. My god. 
That is a lot of videos. <laughs> And we are still eight years ago. But yeah, so much of my life was documented on Jack Sucks at Life. We have the moment I moved out of my parents' house. We see Becky in a video for the very first time. We have the moment I moved out of my first flat that was my own flat. And the moment that I moved into my new flat. Years later, you see me collect my dream car. There's just so many cool moments from my life that are on Jack Sucks at Life. So that's why I look so happy in this image. <laughs> So now jumping back onto Dolby Express, there is another milestone that is coming up quickly. And that is 1 million subscribers on Jack Sucks at Espanol. Currently, we're on 960,000. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a couple of years, you will know that 1 million subscribers on this channel seemed like something that was never, ever going to happen. The lifetime analytics on this channel look so funny. So you can see I made the channel itself back in January 2022. And coming up, there is a teeny tiny spike. There you go. This was when I first promoted the channel. But the trouble was, this was an international channel where all of my videos were dubbed into Spanish. Ta-da! <laughs> Absolutamente hermoso. Y miren, tomamos el libro también. Increíble. <laughs> so it turns out that me promoting this channel to my English-speaking viewers was actually a terrible idea. Because everyone would click on the channel, click on a video, see that they can't understand what I'm saying, type something in the comments like, Haha, Jack speaking Spanish lol, and then they leave giving me terrible, terrible watch time. But the trouble is, it's very expensive to have professional voice actors dub your channel into different languages. So we kept uploading videos for months and months, but you can see I never really got past 5,000 views a day. And eventually, after about eight months of weekly uploads on this channel, I gave up because it was just too expensive. You can see that's when the views went even lower, so less than 1,000 views a day. But then, randomly, out of nowhere, suddenly, Oh, a boost. No uploads, but I guess some older videos had finally been shown to Spanish speakers. And out of nowhere, this channel had the most insane resurgence I've ever seen, often getting over a million views per day. And I think this spike up here, July 27th, 2023, Jack Sucks at Espanol got 5 million views in one day, which is my all-time record across all of my channels. That is ridiculous. And you can see it's stayed quite consistent since then. It's gone down a little bit, but we are still on track for 1 million. And I think we can come up with a really cool award design by including some geography, because most of the viewers on Jack Sucks at Espanol come from Latin America, which is like Central and South America. So let's incorporate incorporate that into the design. If I say an award shape like South America, then hopefully Adobe Express will generate something very cool looking. And I'm going to go a little bit further. This is what the Jack Sucks at Espanol profile picture looks like. You can see we've got like a multicolored color scheme. So maybe that can be incorporated as well. I'm aware multicolored color scheme is a weird thing to say, by the way, but I just can't work out another way to phrase it. All right, let's just do all content and let's generate and hopefully we get something really cool. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god, I wish this was real, I really want this. There's a couple of others. Oh, look at that one. That one seems to have lost the South America feel a bit, but it looks unreal. <laughs> We've also got this one, more of like a, a board type plaque, but the shape is there perfectly. Ah, oh, and then that one, quite a bit more literal in terms of the geography. Oh, I love that one. Let's load some more, because I like looking at them. All right, I like it. Yeah, it's got the shape, but it's a bit more abstract. Um, Oh, that one's cool. That one does look really cool. I kind of poke your eye out is the trouble. Yes, I like that. And then this one looks kind of like a belt. Fair enough. Oh, I've generated another one, and I love this as well. It is floating, though, so we might have to add a little pole there in Photoshop. I'll just keep generating more, because I really <laughs> like the look of them. Oh, look at this one. It's kind of seems to have incorporated the Brazilian flag. I think this one's my favorite. It's got the shape of Central and South America perfect, but still looks really unique and a little bit abstract. But we just need to double check that I look fantastic holding it. And oh, yes. Yes, I do. Let me get a bit of an angle on it. Don't cut your hand, Jack, on those spikes. <laughs> Let me sort the text as well. There we go. Look at that. I put it in Spanish, but it says presented to Jack Sucks Espanol for passing 1 million subscribers. And oh my God. Now I'm just going to be sad when just a boring square gold play button turns up. I want this thing. <laughs> Okay, final award that we're designing today is something that is probably nothing more than a dream and probably something I can't actually achieve. And it's also really dumb, by the way. It's just this side quest that I've wanted to complete for literally years. <laughs> and that is 
The most liked YouTube comment of 2023. The most liked YouTube comment of all time is currently this San Diego Zoo comment. And it used to be I'm the Bald Guy by Seth Everman. But the most liked YouTube comment of 2023 is this one from a fella called Nathan. And he's got well over a million likes. But did you know who has the second most liked comment of 2023? That's right, it's this guy. Seven months ago, I made a YouTube short asking people to like my pinned comment. And now thanks to the original YouTube short, plus another YouTube short telling people to go like the comment in my original YouTube short, plus another YouTube short after that also telling people to go like the comment in my original YouTube short, I now have 700,000 likes on my comment. And apparently, I've actually made four videos now asking people to like this comment. I really want to get the the most liked comment, all right? I'm second. I'm 300,000 likes away. It's not gonna happen, but I'm second. So let's design an award for the most liked comment. Also, when Seth Everman became the actual most liked comment, YouTube did send him an award, but I've always thought it's a really boring looking award. Like, it's got no imagery on it at all. It's just a little boring plaque. So this is for him as well as me. A golden award in the shape of a thumb, because, you know, thumbs up, like, it makes sense. Let's just keep it simple. Click generate. Ah, oh, I mean, it's perfect. They're all anti-gravity as well. We could get some magnets in there. We'll work that out. It's a big deal having the most liked comment. All right, this is the one I'm going to go ahead and download. And let me just cut that out. And oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish. Okay, I mean, there we go. That is beautiful. That is my dream in one image summed up. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you think I should make any of these awards a reality. Thank you for 1 billion views. What a journey it has been. And of course, check out Adobe Creative Cloud. Photoshop's new AI features are fantastic. And text to image with Adobe Express is obviously so useful. So yeah, there's a link in the description so you can try stuff out. All right, thanks. I'll see you later.